And so continuing on, right here, we're gonna take care of our uh, table of contents. So we're gonna load that style. This should probably also be the front matter here. I think Elvis, I just wanna to touch on one quick mm -hmm. thing. With this step five, this compose space break paragraph, Mm -hmm. I know we're, you know, we're doing a lot of granular coding. We're kind of at that step in the process. Mm -hmm. um, but there's um, things that the hub is going to do automatically for you, like putting in CQF in multi-paragraph block quotes. Uh, this step is to identify things that like humans need to uh, code. So mm -hmm. for example, if you have a line, a big block of poetry, and it has stanza breaks in it, like the human needs to go put in SLF for those stanza breaks that there's space above. Um, or if you have three block quotes that are separate, not part of the same quote stacked on top of each other, you're gonna identify those separate things at this stage because those aren't things that the hub is necessarily going to identify automatically. So, so those are the things that we're doing right now. Um, mm -hmm. The hub is gonna help with a lot of things automatically later on in the step we call refining. But now we're kind of um, uh, preparing the text to be refined in that way. Mm -hmm. And so continuing uh, forward, we're gonna go ahead and compose our, um, our table of contents and we're just gonna go ahead and compose this quickly. You can select, so well, this one will actually be TOCFM for front matter. We don't actually have a preface, but the preface usually falls um, as part of the front matter, but we're gonna go ahead and compose our chapters. We're gonna select each individual one and those are TOC. Oh, the last one only got composed. So we'll just go ahead and do this. There you go. And then our authors are TOCAU. So we'll go ahead and compose those. All right. And then the subheads are TOC1 because they are underneath TLC. Right. And then this last index, which we won't actually see, is TLC BM. And so here we have our table of contents composed there properly. And we can actually get rid of these italics um, because TLCAU, all TLCAUs, are italic. Um, I'll give you a quick shortcut, especially on PC. I'm not sure if on Mac, but on PC, if you are, um, if you select text and hit Control Space, that usually applies the default paragraph uh, um, character style. So uh, you can get rid of um, local formatting in that way. You can also get rid of local fo uh, formatting using this Find Text Formatting option here in the um, SAI there. And so we'll continue on. And again, we're looking for um, space break paragraphs, um, any elements that, you know, will lose, um, will lose uh, their distinctions um, when we get rid of empty spaces, um, tabs and returns and things like that. Um, and actually we are just for the sake, well, actually no, we won't do that. So we'll go through. And just check for anything that needs those uh, spacing distinctions. I know I'm skipping over these other um, specialized um, paragraphs that we can see rendered in this way. Uh, we'll go back to those um, in a little bit. So here, for example, SEC, nor even um, this one without the indent. I'll show you in a little bit why we won't worry about that. And so here we have some poetry, but there are no multiple stanzas, so we're not um, worried about um, adding any SLF styles in here. Uh, we'll handle those in just a little bit. So we'll continue through of our equations. I believe we do not have any other space break paragraphs. So again, we've just gone through and handled our space break paragraphs. And so now, we once again, and you might say, well, this is a little 
you know, repetitive where we can handle a lot of things at the same time. But again, the reason why we break things up into chunks is so that um, we can reduce errors that way because we know exactly um, what we're looking for. So at this point now, we're going to compose any paragraph that is not a P with some ex um, exceptions. And we're not going to worry about, um, you know, first and last or anything. We're just going to apply the structure as it needs to be applied as Tim has already described. So here, we're gonna come in here, and it's actually popped up here. I'm gonna go to our style galleries, bring those back, back up. All right. And I believe, right here, we, this one we do not have epigraph, which is what this is, All right? So we're gonna go low default, but up epigraph, and we know that this is EP, but again, we're not gonna worry about EPF, DPF, we're just gonna compose it as EP for epigraph. We're gonna compose author here as EPT. There it is. And so now our epigraphs are composed. We This we considered um, a uh, P paragraph, so we're not going to compose this. We're just going to leave this as is. And here, we're going to actually compose our list. Again, we're not going to worry about first, last, or anything of that nature. But I'll show you something that happens if you compose um, a list paragraph, a word list paragraph, um, without uh, first removing um, this field that word creates for the list leader. If we go here, style calories, and we're going to go to our numbered list. Right. And this is NL. You see, we just lost our list leader, right? So in order to avoid that, um, we can actually make these list leaders real text that will not be removed once um, once we've applied our character, our paragraph styles. Now, um, if your uh, document has just plain lists, there's no need to, um, you know, worry about specialized lists. Later on in this document, there is an exercise numbered list, which is why we're going to do it the way we're going to do it now. But if your document has, you know, simple lists um, and you don't, you know, there's no specialized list inside a sidebar or an exercise or anything like that, you can actually leave these as they are and the hub will compose them properly. So you don't have to worry about those here. But for the sake of this demo, we're going to go ahead and um, clear out uh, these fields and make the list leaders into real text. To do that, all you have to do is go to the SAI and then go to cleanup, right? And then here, under convert Microsoft Word element to live text, we're gonna click list leaders. That's all we're gonna worry about for now. And then say, actually, let me just make sure I'm clicking outside of that. List leaders here. And then, okay, it'll say clean up complete. And now you'll notice that these became normal paragraphs and these are now actual live text. Okay. And so now we're going to go ahead and actually compose our numbered lists. Okay, and so we know that this is NL. These two are also NL. And because this is a sublist of this list item here, these are NL1. Again, we are worrying about that distinction because that will get lost if we do not um, compose it now, but we are not worrying about first and last and standalone or styles like that. We're going to continue scrolling through. We'll get here to this um, this paragraph, which is indented, and as you can see, has this little end note at the end, indicating that this um, is a block quote, right? And so, because of that, we're going to compose it as is. Okay. 
and we'll say BQ.